in this case, psychiatrics is abused for political purpose. This opinion was quoted in a hearing in the European Parliament by Branislav Jurka, lawyer of 30-year-old Hedviga Zhakova Malinova, who is a Slovakian citizen, a member of the Hungarian national community living in Slovakia. Almost seven years ago, she was heavily beaten and robbed by skinheads simply because of speaking Hungarian in public. However, the police investigation was closed and the Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico himself and Interior Minister Robert Kaliniak announced that she lied. There had been no attack of any kind. She had beaten up herself and just fabricated the whole story. She was no longer treated as a victim of an assault. Instead, she was accused of bearing false witness, deceiving the authorities, and instigating ethnic intolerance. The investigation is still ongoing. Máig nem tudom, hogy pontosan milyen hazugságokkal vádolnak. But even today, I'm not not uh, aware exactly at what are the lies that I'm um, accused of. Mert hat éve hiába követelem. Because I've been asking the authorities for six years now. A szlovák médián és ügyészségi beadványokon keresztül. Through different files and uh, request uh, to the authorities. Újra és újra, hogy mondják meg, miben hazudtam, Sen to let me know when, when and where I lied exactly. Senki nem válaszol. But no one's answering. Two years ago, in 2011, it seemed that the case would close. At the Strasbourg European Court of Human Rights, the Slovak authorities offered an out-of-court agreement, saying that certain circumstances raised concerns that the human rights of Hedviga Zhakova Malinova were not respected during the criminal investigation as guaranteed by the European Convention of Human Rights, and the Slovak government offered her an official apology. This is why she had withdrawn the case from Strasbourg. However, later the new Slovak government elected in 2012 initiated further proceedings in the case, not the investigation of the attack, whose perpetrators are unpunished ever since, but in the case against the young woman of bearing false witness. In brackets, the Slovak Minister of Interior is again the same Robert Kaliniak who supervised the Slovakian police force seven years ago. Hedviga Zhakova Malinova still has not been informed of which part of her testimony is regarded as a lie. The investigation now tries to prove that at the time of her testimony seven years ago, she was non compos mentis. Though after six, seven years, this is simply impossible, according to international experts who studied the case in a psychiatric conference. MEPs present at the hearing were astonished to hear the details of the case. I find it horrendous that in the European Union, something of this kind can happen. It's appalling. That's not why we join the European Union. Hungarian MEP Kinga Gál, who is vice chairperson of the EP Commission of Civil Liberties and Human Rights, was of the opinion that the role of MEPs is to persuade the European institutions to act in this case and prevent any further encroachment of Hedwig's rights. To uh, work on it until your story comes to a peaceful uh, uh, end and satisfying end, and uh, you will be left to live in peace as a normal citizen of Slovakia, a member state of the European Union. Edith Bauer, a Hungarian member of the European Parliament from Slovakia who organized the hearing, said the regulations in Slovakia are not clear about how an investigation of this kind has to be carried out by the alienists. Forcing somebody to undergo psychiatric scrutiny in a psychiatric department without any reason as far as she is not threat to public order, just inconvenient from some politicians, has nothing to do with human rights guaranteed by European Convention of Human Rights. She said the crisis prompted her to organize this hearing in the European Parliament. Hedviga Zhakova Malinova must appear before the alienists soon, and there are fears that she would not be cooperative in a closed mental hospital for two or even three months. Or if she didn't go for the examination, she would face a fine of 1,600 euros. Edviga Zhakova Malinova told the hearing 
she would be pleased to accept any help, as she was confident hers is a just case. És azért jöttem ma ide önökhöz, hogy bebizonyítsam, to prove, hogy a tehetetlenség, amiben élek, csak egy látszat, mert akinek igaza van, annak ereje és joga is van ahhoz, hogy kiálljon az igaza mellett.